people think the body was created by God for fornication. No. The Bible says now the body is known for fornication. The body is the Lord. Why should you commit something that is the Lord's? Why do you commit something that is the Lord's? And you commit to fornication. Jezebel. Jezebel that dangerous woman is not only teaching the church of theater to commit fornication but even everybody in the church of Jesus Christ in the world but you need to understand today your body is known for fornication if your body was not created for fornication, then why do you fornicate? There might be even some people here today who fornicated all night and some watching by television and social media. They spend the whole night fornicating. They are going out to fornication. They commit fornication. If the Bible says the body is known for fornication but for the Lord Everybody, you take your body into fornication. Every time you take your body into fornication, you are taking the Lord with you. You are taking the Lord with you. Because the body is for the Lord. And the Lord for the body. Avoid every evil fornication. Because your body was not created for fornication. It is the spirit of Jezebel that is seducing people everywhere in the world to fornicate. Fornication is very bad. Fornication is evil. Fornication is dangerous. Avoid it at all times. Because every time you take your body into fornication, you are taking something that does not belong to you. In other words, the Bible says that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So every time you go to fornicate, you are going with Jesus himself to fornicate. Because your your body is known for fornication. It is the Lord. Avoid fornication. And let me tell you, especially young boys and young girls, if you don't fornicate, you will not die. You will not die. So that is number one. Number two. First Corinthians chapter five and verse nine. Talking about fornication with Jezebel. I wrote unto you in an episode not to company with fornicators. The Bible does not allow us to company with fornicators. If you are here and you are a fornicator we should never company with you. You are a very dangerous person as far as the Bible is concerned. When it becomes to a pastor and the pastor is a fornicator, he becomes a very dangerous person. Never company with such a pastor. 
There are many pastors I'm avoiding these days because I don't want to company with them. They might dilute my heart. They may contaminate me. If the Bible says we should not have company with fornicators. We can have company with liars. We can even have company with murderers. But not fornicators. Never become a friend to a fornicator. That's what the Bible is warning you. Paul is saying, I wrote unto in an episode, known to company with fornicators. We should never have company with anybody called a fornicator. Period. No question about it. Number 10. Verse 10. I want to be more clear. Yet not altogether with the fornicators of this world. Paul was saying. Don't make fornicators your friends. Never attend their companies. And say, I don't mean the fornicators of this world. Not those ones. The fornicators of this world. You would live with them. You would company with them. Move with them. Leave their fornicators of this world. So I'm not talking about the fornicators of this world. Or with the covetous or exceptionals or with idolaters. For them must he needs to go out of the world. Paul is saying. If I say don't company with fornicators of this world. I don't mean the fornicators of this world. So if I was meaning this It means You must have to leave the world first Because everybody is almost a fornicator The one you buy tomatoes from The fornicator The one who rides you on a Is a fornicator The taxi driver is a fornicator Even the conductor is a fornicator The one you bought a hair from Is a fornicator in the salon where you went, is a fornicator. The one who served you in the restaurant is a fornicator. So Paul is saying, When I say avoid the fornicators, I don't mean fornicators of this world. For if I was meaning them, you must need to go out of this world. So it's not talking about the fornicators of this world. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Those ones we can company with them. The fornicators of this world. Verse number 11. But now I have written unto you not to keep company if any man that calls a brother be a fornicator. Muse Chigambo brother. He's not talking about the fornicators of this world. Because if you don't company with them, if you don't company with them, you have to get out of your world. Because even your boss is a fornicator. How can you avoid that? Your maid is a fornicator. Your best man is a fornicator. Best man Even your sisters are fornicators. So when the Bible says Bible we should not company with fornicators, he is not talking about the fornicators of this world. He is saying, I have written to you now not to keep company. If any man that is called a brother be a fornicator. 
If there is anybody here called a brother and he's a sister and he's a fornicator you should never have company with him. As simple as that. In other words Jesus hates fornication in church. If you want to fornicate, get out of the church. Why do you fornicate right within the church? And nobody stops you from fornication. You can go back into the world. And you forn commit fornication at maximum. Nobody has tied you ropes here. Why do you go to church? And you say you are born again. And you say you are a child of God. You are washed by the blood of Jesus. But you continue with fornication. Paul is writing a whole letter. And he said. Now I'm writing to you. Do not keep company. If any man that's called a brother be a fornicator. Ask the neighbor next to you and ask him, are you a fornicator? Look at the back and ask the person, are you a fornicator? And tell him, if you're a fornicator, I will not have company with you anymore. Period. Jezebel, Jezebel wants us to eliminate, wants to separate between us and the brethren. If anybody is called a sister, or a brother, or brethren, and is a fornicator, we should never even have company with them. That's how serious fornication is. Jezebel's spirit is causing God's children to commit fornication. In other words, fornicators in the house of God must be isolated. Isolate yourself from them. If that fornicator is called a brother, he's very, he's, he's very dangerous. You know what he does? He has Jesus in himself and the Holy Spirit. And then he goes away to Nakanjako and commit fornication with Jesus inside and the Holy Spirit inside. Because you remember, we are the temple of Jesus. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And Jesus said, I am at the door of your heart knocking. In other words, he's always inside. Now you are going to fornicate with Jesus inside. You are very dangerous. You are very dangerous. You are extremely dangerous. And the Bible says, we should never have company with you. If a fornicator is a brother, we should never have company with them. If a fornicator is merely your friend, a Muslim, just go and eat. Just go and eat with them. If that fornicator is a Catholic, just go and eat with them. Just go for a, a, a picnic. But if that fornicator is a brother or a sister, never keep company with them. Do not even eat with them. Okay, let us go. The last part says, with such, with such one there, no, not to eat. You don't even eat with them. If a fornicator is a brother, 
Oh sister, oh, sister. Don't keep company Do not nabo. even eat with them nabo. Because they are very dangerous They are agents of Jezebel ba agent ba They are defiling the house of God ba They are defiling the name of Jesus ba They are abusing the body of Christ ba wa They possess the spirit of Jezebel ba You don't have to company with them Not even to eat ne with them If that phone Ketor is a brother. Okay, let's get a tithes. Let's get a tithes. Let's get a tithes. Let's Hallelujah. Loving Father, you are such a wonderful God. You are such a mighty God. We thank you for today. Theatra Church has been wound up. We thank you, Lord, for Jezebel has been expounded extensively. And I believe many people have heard the message. And the Holy Spirit will continue to work in them. Bless every tither. Open the windows of heaven. Prosper your people. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's bring a tithes. I am blessed. I am blessed. Every day of my life, I am blessed. When I wake up in the morning, when I go to bed to rest, let's bring a tithes. Let's bring our tithes. I am blessed. Sing, I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. Every day of my life, I am blessed. When I wake up in the morning, when I go to bed to rest. Father, bless every giver. Press down, shake together, and run over. May people bring to our bosoms in the name of Jesus. Prosper your children, O God. Prosper them, O Father. Give them increase in the name of Jesus. And those who are bringing a love offering to the man of God, bless them, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.